The sum of three numbers in AP is 15. AP here is arithmetic progression or arithmetic series. And the sum of their squares is 83. Find the numbers. So we are given sum 15, sum of the square of the three numbers is 83. The three numbers, let us uh, make the three number be one of them is A, and then we make the one to the left is A minus D, and the one to the right is A plus D. Notice that this is an AP. To go from here to here, you plus a D, you go from here to here, you plus another D. So this is an AP. So now, in order to know the three numbers, we need to know A and D. Okay. So there are two unknowns here, A and D. Meaning, when we have two unknowns, to get the value of the two unknowns, we need two equations, two independent equations. Luckily, we are given that. We are given that the sum of the three numbers is 15, and the sum of the square is 83. Now let's look at the first given uh, knowledge. Notice that Minus D and D cancel, you get A, 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 3A equals 15. Therefore, A equals 15. So, we able to know one of the unknown. A is equal to 5. Now, uh, from here, plug the found uh, value of A equals 5 into here. Plug A here, you get that. Square this, 5 square, 25, minus twice uh, the cross term, minus 10D. And then you guys know how to do that. We will let you do that. It goes 83. Minus 10D and 10D cancel. You get 2D square plus there are 325. That will be 75. 2D square is equal to 83 minus 75. Difference is 8. Cancel. You get D square equal 4. Therefore, D equal plus minus 2. So now we, we know A equal 5 and D is plus minus 2. Okay. And then this was our original uh, formulation. Now plug A go 5 and D go 2. And then A go 5, D go negative 2. And then you see that the answer you get is 357. And then here you get 753. And then if you solve it the other way around, between so they are identical. Okay? Side note, we can also assume, instead of assuming A minus D, A and A plus D, we can also assume that and proceed as in the above. But, in this formulation, it's not easy to solve the two equations and two unknown. Since there's no cancellation like this, right? When you add them, this cancel, you get 3a equal to whatever given. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative helpful. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. See you.